The Pine Mountain Soil and Water Conservation District was constituted as an agency of the state government on July 17, 1939. The board is made up of farmers, landowners, and land users, and they are dedicated to the conservation, development, and protection of natural resources. This district is comprised of Chattahoochee, Harris, Marion, Muskogee, and Talbot counties. The district's board is comprised of two supervisors from each county, one elected and one appointed. I've seen a lot of changes. In our county particularly, we uh, have been faced with a dramatic expansion of Fort Benning, which occupies about 85% of our county. And the Natural Resources Conservation District our catalyst has been uh, instrumental in helping them with their expansion plans and their erosion control plans. One of our main responsibilities is to promote the conservation treatment of natural resources including soil, water, and wildlife habitat and to also work closely with government agencies to assist in the planning of conservation programs. We needed a local tie to the local people. That's where conservation districts come in. They were created back in the 30s to serve as a bridge between the federal government and the local farmers and citizens. Through the recommendations that came from working with the Pine Mountain District, we were one of the earlier districts that promoted uh, reforestation as one of our cost share programs to help landowners put trees back on the landscape. And especially since we're located on the fall line of Georgia, Longleaf pine and the longleaf pine ecosystem is very important. And it's important because it needs not only the historical trees and landscape that was here, but it supports a lot of endangered species, it helps improve water quality, and provides economic benefit. Conservation education not only allows people of all ages to understand natural resources, but also to appreciate it. In 2014, we will continuously work with groups and organizations to assist in the development of seminars and programs in order for our district to reach a greater knowledge of our resources and ecosystems. We also strive to educate future generations and connect them with the valuable resources at hand. In the Pine Mountain Soil and Water Conservation District, we do our best to match public opinion with current scientific data in order to keep our district informed of the latest conservation issues and concerns. We will also continuously keep our district informed on current programs and objectives related to natural resources. Access, vegetation management, and pipe inspection are just a few components of this objective. We will work hard to prevent impairment of dams and reservoirs, and also control flooding and maintain navigability of rivers in the district. Today is Forestry Field Day in Marion County. We've had many, many schools come through the years, and it's just a positive day for Marion County and a positive day for our area. And forestry plays such a huge role in our economy. Uh, events like today's event here in Marion County help uh, prepare students uh, for their collegiate experience, especially those students who are interested uh, in natural resources and uh, wildlife management, forestry, uh, wildlife biology, etc. Uh, it prepares students for future collegiate competition uh, in conclave events, uh, forestry and wildlife conclave events. The events these young men are participating in right now, uh, they're doing management uh, where they'll determine the basal area of the stand, uh, the, 
volume of the stand and the problems of the stand and what needs to be done. Uh, they'll measure the diameters, heights of the tree, as well as determine what needs to be done to the area for uh, proper forest management. In addition to the school forest on the Marion County High School property, we've also seen a need for outdoor education as far as it relates to natural resources. And the school boards expressed an interest uh, to the Pine Mountain District in, in how they best could use their school campus to, to achieve this goal. And one of the things we came up with was actually creating an outdoor learning center, which consists of a uh, Arboretum of the native trees of Georgia that will be established to have as many different species planted and identified so that people could actually see firsthand all the different trees that you could naturally expect to see. One of the things that, that people need is a place in order to get out and see the outdoors but be able to do it in a, in a safe way in a way that they didn't have to actually own property themselves to be able to do this. And so the school has graciously made their campus available. For more information on the Marion County Arboretum, contact the Pine Mountain Soil and Water Conservation District. 